My dearest kids, Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. I hope you all are well, safe and sound at your respective houses during this corona pandemic. I'd like to welcome you to my session. But before that, I'd like to say something about this pandemic. You should wash your hands, use tissue paper, and you wear masks. And do not do these sort of things like ignoring temperature, shaking hands, and staying away from wild animals. You should have known me by now. I'm a Vibulga Jisar, lecturer in English, Social Care College. While preparing this lesson for you, I consulted these books, English for Today, for Class 7, Oxford English Grammar, Intermediate English Grammar, and Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary. This class is meant for you, class seven boys, and unit is unit six. Look at the picture. What can you see in this picture? What is written? A journey is best measured in friends and rather than miles. From this picture, you may have understood the today's topic. And today's topic is traveling by train. After this lesson, you will be able to listen, read, understand, and enjoy stories and other text materials, ask and answer questions, write short paragraphs and informal letters, write answers to questions. But before that, let's improve some vocabulary. First word is departure and it's countable noun. New pronunciation is departure. US pronunciation is also departure. And its meaning is the fact of a person or vehicle living somewhere. Example, there are several departures, buses, trains, aircraft, etc. Our departure was delayed because of bad weather. Next word is empty, which is adjective and its UK pronunciation is empty, US pronunciation is also empty. Its meaning is not containing anything or people, an empty house, a street, Shall I take the empty bottles for recycling? Next word is print out. Its UK pronunciation is also print out and US pronunciation is the same. Its meaning is text produced by a computer or printer. There are pages of computer print out all over the desk. <laughs> the next word is compartment and it's a countable noun. UK pronunciation is compartment. US pronunciation is compartment, but the, there is a difference. You see, in the US pronunciation, the R, Ra sound is being pronounced, but UK pronunciation is not being pronounced. And its meaning is one of the separate areas inside a vehicle, especially a train, a first class compartment. Now, let's have some expressions which you are going to face in the text. It was a down bunch bound Tista Express. So, what does it mean? When a train is going to a destination, that destination you can express through this way. For example, if a train is going to Chittagong, you can say it is a Chittagong bound train. Next expression, she took a printout of the poem. So when you want to take something from internet or computer, you can do that. We can use this expression that I am taking a printout. Next expression, the children sat by the window beside their parents. Now here, sitting by the window, just close to the window. That's the expression. When you sit close and see the view outside, it is called sitting by the window. Now we're going to read the text. Jishan, Julie, and their parents, Mr. and Mrs. Arif Khan, got into a first class compartment at Kamalapur Railway Station. It was the Ongans bound Tista Express. The train left at 8 o'clock. Jishan saw that the departure time on the big timetable at the station was 7 30. However, the train was running quite fast. The children sat by the window. Beside their parents, the compartment was half empty. Yesterday, Julie downloaded a beautiful 
poem on a train journey by Robert Louis Stevenson. She took a printout of the poem. She was looking out and saw the passing things. Then she took out the poem and began to read. Dear cadets, if you need further reading, you can read it from your book or you can see this video. Now, the first question, are all the seats in the compartment taken? So what was the answer? Definitely not all the seats were taken. We, can, we know that it was half taken and half empty. Next question is, where did Dishan sit? You should know where they sit. They sat by the window beside their pants. Now, the next question is, where was the train going? The train was going to... The next question is, did the train leave Kamalapur station late or on time? Definitely, you know, that the train was late by 30 minutes. The next question is, where did Julie get the poem from? The poem, Julie got the poem from, by downloading and she took a printout. What is Julie doing from her seat? Dear parents, I would like you to look for this answer. Our next, next activity is matching word meaning. Here you have some words, hedge, ditch, charge, wing, springing, bramble, tramp, and glimpse. And here the jumbled meanings, attack or rush, a signal made quickly by closing and opening an eye, hanging, quickly bush. Now, without any more delay, I would like to show you the meanings. Page meanings a row of bushes or a small tree, ditch a canal or a drain, charge attack or rush, wink a single made quickly by closing and opening an eye. Wink means a signal made quickly by closing and opening an eye. Stringing means hanging. Bramble means a prickly bush. Tramp means move heavily along. Glimpse a look at something for a very short time. Now, dear cadets, finally, this is what sort of question? This is the, there might be, uh, this passage is taken from inner six, lesson seven. The, you, you will find the answer in your textbook. Just go there and fill up the blanks. This, this might also be a sample question in your fourth work. Examination. So you can practice this while reading the text. You try to omit some words and try to put it yourself. But remember that in this section, the word must be the same. I repeat, the word must be the same as it is written in the book. So dear cadets, uh, if you have any more question, please ask to the comment box. You will find me there. And finally, I would like to request all of you to stay inside at your home. It is very necessary. You know, the world has yet failed to produce any sort of vaccine or remedy for this COVID-19. So it is very essential that we stick together at home. Stay home, stay safe. This is your Google Research signing out.